Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another TV show, reaction and commentary. We're going to be hopping into episode two of Breaking Bad. Just got done episode one, kind of fresh off of that. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what's going to be our adventure here. I feel like episode one is was a brilliant introduction to our character and giving us a lot to work with, as well as, like, leaving a lot to be um, uncovered. So I'm excited to just see where this journey comes and, and where it leads us to there's a lot that this story can tell us you know um i see potential conflict with just in that that are internal that walter is going to be facing external meaning maybe like some other competition uh, i know they he has a family dynamic i know he has a work dynamic as well too so it's going to be interesting seeing how those dynamics throughout our time here begin to either be affected or become annihilated or grow potentially um, we don't know what exactly we're going to be facing here so i'm excited to kind of jump into this like always guys if you want to be able to support the channel and you know get ahead of the youtube schedule instead of one episode a week you get two you can check out the Patreon link below. That's usually the best way to support this channel as well if you would like to. You can also support the channel by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And at the end of the day, just sit back, relax, get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into episode two, Breaking Bad. Yeah, he also has lung cancer, by the way. I think I forgot to mention that prior, but yeah, he has lung cancer and i'm talking about he only has like a few years to live if he decides to take chemo so less than that yeah man you had a long day 12 hours earlier bam i'm like what the hell you know yes oh yes and my coffee mug, of coffee, <laughs> my, my mug of coffee it spills all over my pants i mean this dude looks like a giant by the way oh my goodness he is tall as hell <laughs> He's looking at him like, what have I got myself into? I am cooking crystal meth with my chemistry teacher. Yes! Oh, is that the gas mask? Oh, man. Oh, God, man. <laughs> Damn, I was not expecting him to be alive still. Damn, my man passed out on the floor in the bathroom. You know, even the small busted girls have cleavage. Apparently, there's some new type of brassiere. <laughs> brassiere. <laughs> it's the wonder bra. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the wonder bra. Where the hell are you? I'm freaking out over here. Calm down, damn it. Are you going to help me clean this up? Huh? We got loose ends here. Calm down. Ah, man. We're already in the second episode, and it's already leaking into his freaking family life. Uh, listen, uh, that this, is just not going to work thing for me. Is I'm not interested in that at blitzing. all. And, uh, I would appreciate Things it. are being blitzed right now. Yo, yo, yo. One, four, eight. Three to the three to the six to the nine. Representing the ABQ. What up, biatch? Leave it at the tone. Oh, boy. Make the mistake of giving that same pregnant woman the left-handed isomer, and her child will be born with horrible birth defects. Mm. I mean, I'm paying attention to this. I'll be honest. I will pay attention to this because I'm this learning a lot. On the midterm. He thought he said uh, murder. He said midterm, my guy. Oh, my God. Hydrofluoric acid. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. I didn't even know they just have these things chilling in the school. Like, what? Oh, that is not good. Oh, that is not good. 
My man has gotten away. He has escaped. <laughs> Oh my god, is that him right there? Oh god, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's like, I don't know how to go about this. Oh my god. Goodness, bro. No way. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow, that is so funny. Milf. It says milf, 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 milf. How is a milf? Oh man. His cousin, mainly. Who's his cousin? The, the guy out in the RV. All right, all right, all right. Crazy eight's one level higher. Uh oh. Uh oh. We about, we about to we about to get into the hierarchy. You know, there's like a this Starbucks is where it's gonna corner. probably get crazy. Like oh man, Starbucks's beans. We're gonna meet some crazy characters. <laughs> we can't die alone. Why the hell did we die alone? Because he was out cold. Yeah, but what, what did you say? Damn! Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I keep thinking that they're like on top of this. No, no, none of them are experts at this. That's innovative. I mean, it's this, this whole situation is effed up. <laughs> this is an entirely effed up situation, but innovative. We've got to do something about that soon. And in a way that no one will ever find it. Now that that last part is very, very. <laughs> I love how he's trying his best to be like, "Yo, we need to deal with these things." That our best course of action would be chemical disintegration. That man, that man needs a plan. Dissolving in strong acid. Oh man, that's messed up. <laughs> Yo, even he was like. I don't know, man. That's crazy. Fair way to go about this would be that one of us deals with the body situation while the other one of us deals with the crazy eight situation. In a scenario like this, I don't suppose it is bad form to just flip a coin. He's like, let's leave it up to chance. <laughs> Because both options are terrible. Heads. Heads. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's two out of three. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to get messy. Yeah, what kind of plastic, man? Polyethylene. Well, how the hell am I supposed to know that? Because I told you. <laughs> Just... <laughs> This is such a crazy duo, man. Oh, dog. You tell me I get to rock with these two for how many seasons? That's awesome. As far as I'm concerned, your chemistry education is over. Oh, okay. Be a dick about it. <laughs> Yo, this dude's outfit, though, too. He's <laughs> a bumblebee with legs. Yeah, I'm... Bumblebees have legs, right? Uh -huh. I'm working up to it. He's a bumblebee with really human legs. <laughs> oh no, are they gonna have to like cut him up into pieces and then Oh man, that show this entire this entire situation is just terrible. Oh my goodness, Brian. Oh my god. That's such a giant hand cannon. Oh. I'm just gonna suffocate him instead. What you gonna do? Hey. Hey. <coughs> yeah, he's alive alive. He is alive alive. That's just going to make this entire execution 
just that much worse. <laughs> they got this dude. They got this dude like a prisoner, man. This is <laughs> this is wicked, man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Oh man, this is funny as hell. <laughs> Why does everybody have that face where just, you know, they got the mouth open and everything? <laughs> he got it though. This is the OG way of doing it. Oh man, the struggles. Are you smoking weed? Oh my god. Wait a minute, is that is that my weed? <laughs> I love that vibe change. He's like, hey. But what the heck, man? <laughs> the store in town sells a plastic bin big enough for a body. I suppose you could buy two bins. Legs in one, torso in the other. Ah, oh, God. I don't suppose you could kiss my ass? Yo, his retorts are great, man. Oh my god. His retorts, man. Oh, would you look at that face? <laughs> Smile, Peanut. That's crazy. He just, he's flipping between, he's clocking in and out between cutting up and throwing a body into acid to. <laughs> going with his wife Girl. for a doctor's visit. Or I should say a pregnancy visit. Look, I can I tell you that's exactly what I was hoping? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you remember you said that when she's 16 and starts dating. <laughs> Looking fabulous. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, he didn't tell her. He didn't tell her. Ah, uh, man. Who is Jesse Pinkman? He said, like, how the hell do you know that? You spent the entire night in the bathroom, Walt. Tell me what's going on with you. Don't you think you owe me that? She's completely right. <laughs> she is completely right. Who like, is this Jesse Pinkman to you? Damn. There's just already so much swirling around. It's only the second episode. So right now, what I need is for you to climb down out of my ass. Oh, whoa, what? Oh my God. Why, why, why? What's up, man? I'd appreciate it. I really would. <laughs> She's like, what the f <laughs> I don't blame her. What on earth, man? That was not how you handled that. Like, it's interesting that this is his way of getting control back in his life. Or finding the control in his life. No, 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 no. It's cool, it's cool. You're all good, you're all... You're all good in the hood. <laughs> you're all good in the hood. <laughs> Yo, man. This guy, bro, he is hilarious, man. He has, like, probably the most realistic reactions to these. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 this is private property. Just a minute, I, I want to talk to you. No, nope, no, nope, not interested, come on. Hey, don't touch me. Look, lady, whatever you're selling, I ain't buying, yo. Well. <laughs> what a frame, what a frame. My brother-in-law is a DEA agent, and I will not hesitate to call him, not if I have to. Oh, man, this is, this is <laughs> just mixed. Mixed Do signals. Not. Oh man, this is Sell so funny. Okay. I mean it. <laughs> Don't call our house again. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> All right. <laughs> I won't sell weed to your husband. There's a body right behind that car. <laughs> Yo, she really pulled up. Like, what? <laughs> she really pulled up to the property. Oh. 
I gotta say, there's moments where they let the, like, like the weight, like, let's say, for instance, something dropped near the camera, they let the wobble of that, they kind of leave it in there. I kind of like that. That's the second time I saw it this episode. Hell, let's just let him live down there. Just, I don't know, make sure to feed him, like, three times a day. <laughs> He's so great, bro. This guy is great, man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's going to leak through the material, though, right? Like, there was a reason why he said get the specific container, yeah? And why'd you go and tell her I was selling you weed? Because somehow it seemed preferable to admitting that I cooked crystal meth and killed a man. <laughs> These two are freaking awesome, man. I am loving this episode of just, honestly, their chemistry. Yeah. Now, is it the good chemistry? I don't know. I don't cook it. What do you mean, bathtub? You know, and that's another thing. Why you got me running around town trying to find some stupid piece of plastic when I have a perfectly good tub I can use? Oh, man. Oh, the horror in his face. The horror in his freaking face. His face, his face. Oh no, his face said it all, man. Oh, that's terrible, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, man, that is so disgusting. His face. His face is my face, man. That's crazy. Man, got just had meat chunks falling from the ceiling. You see, hydrofluoric acid won't eat through plastic. It will, however, dissolve metal, rock, glass, ceramic. So there's that. <laughs> Dude, that was horrific. That was disgusting, man. Mm. All right, guys, and that is the end to episode two, Breaking Bad. All right, everybody, we just got done episode two of Breaking Bad. Left off with the kid finding the gas mask. All right. All right, I'm interested in seeing what are going to be the universal themes that this film, you know, would like to tap into. I know um, what I mean by that universal themes is, for example, Fargo, right? The theme that I found to be universal in that is the whole theme that time is just going too too fast for people and they're being left behind so the theme of that is you either adapt or you become prey to time you know that theme is similar to you know no country for old men and a lot of coen brother films but especially for fargo that's been the theme for uh, a tv series but i'm interested in seeing what the universal theme is going to be for this you know i know that we're dealing with drugs we're dealing with uh you know, Walter's internal conflict. We're going to probably be dealing with a whole lot of violence, but I wonder what the overarching pattern, like the, um, the theme that almost is no matter how much you try to break it, you follow it by law, right? And how the story is told is supposed to kind of like, we're well, not supposed, but you know, if it were to challenge that is by challenging that and then constantly being, you know, set back to no, this is a universal law you can't change this um so i wonder what is going to be the universal theme for a show like this because it's so personal and i know we're only in the second episode so i don't expect to see this until like or sense it until later on in these episodes or maybe even later on um at the season finale because i know they got seasons for this but i'm excited to see and and you know, witness whatever the themes are in this film. I'm excited in this film, this TV show. I'm excited to see a lot of the metamorphosis, metamorphosis, the changing of of Walter White and just his journey 
I wonder where he's going to be ending up. I can't wait to see how he changes throughout the episodes, let alone the seasons. I, I It's going to be insane. But, man, I got to say, I'm pretty sure it's Aaron Paul's character. Um, character is incredibly hilarious, man. Like, his reactions are hilarious so I, I i love this duo i love this duo i feel like this episode uh unlike the first one highlighted their chemistry you know but um yeah it's gonna be really interesting interesting to see what they do with this they got a working recipe a freaking awesome ingredient with this show so i'm in i'm tapped in like always guys if you want to be able to check out more episodes instead of one a week you would like to have two make sure to check out the patreon link below it's usually the best way to support the channel like always guys stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed Everything that I should ever need Grab some matches cause they give them free Just like my time Hair pulled back in the backseat